So I just put on the Scott Freeguide Carbon and I have to say I'm quite impressed with the fit. The dudes over at Scott spent two years breaking their balls, developing a revolutionary ski boot, as they call it. And uh, let's have a closer look at some of the details. Hello, my name is Franz Marsan and uh, the Ski Boots Product Manager for Scott. I'm really happy to present you the new uh, Free Guide Ski Boots. It's a uh, free touring ski boots that deliver a super cool performance with a 130 flex and a super nice walkability of a 60 uh, angle degrees. So this uh, walkability and performance are delivered by the Cabrio Hybrid construction. Those benefits of this construction is you have like a very good downhill performance, but the boots is also very easy to, uh, to step in, step out. Uh, that's a key factor for us. We want to have some very comfortable ski boots. The last is 101.5 millimeters, so fitting most of the feet on the market. And uh, we have like some cool features like a BOA system for the liner, so the liner stays close to your feet during the downhill or, or the hiking up. And we are using uh, grillamine materials, carbon fibers to achieve a weight of uh, 1 kilo, 440 grams. So we are super stoked to have these boots on our offer. I hope you can test it quickly and uh, have fun in the mountain. Uh, I've seen uh, you use BOA on the liner. Yeah, that's a good, smart, cool feature. Um, we, we do like it to have some more comfort. Like uh, the comfort of the boots is something key for our Scott ski boots. Uh, we are really successful with our touring ski boots because they are really comfortable. So on this one, we want to have this comfort. And the BOA liner brings like, uh, something very easy to, to use, to handle. And also when you are walking, you have something that the liners stay close to your foot and that's something uh, nice to have. And uh, I don't know, if it seems uh, like there's a stiffening in the, this part of uh, the liner. Like yeah. It's really stiff here. Yeah, in the front, so, the boots has, a, we call it a hybrid cabrio construction. So it's a mix hybrid cabrio. So you have the cabrio ski boots for towing and the most overlap uh, ski boots construction that's more alpine. And here we want to take the, both, uh, the best of both solutions. So we have like a, a two-part tongue in the front that uh, give a lot of workability when you, you are skinning up. But also we still having a, a good overlap coming from the cuff to have uh, something powerful for, for the descent and the performance. So for sure the liner is also a bit reinforced in the, in the front, but um, that's more the construction of the boots that make it a bit uh, unique. Uh, the fit of the last, what have you taken it from another Scott boot or is it completely new? No, that's new, it's a 101.5 millimeters. On all the other ski boots we are at 103, so a bit more narrow for more performance. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a fit. But you will see uh, with this uh, solution of hybrid cabrio construction, that's this uh, two part tongue, the step in and step out are super easy to get a, a super comfort. and. Uh, a very uh, comfortable fit. Uh, just you just jump into the boots and you have something that uh, that fits. Okay. And how much uh, Gorilla Mid? Uh, it's just Gorilla Mid or an APU or a No, it's a full Gorilla Mid construction with some carbon fibers on the shell to have something uh, very reinforced on the side to have a, po a good power transmission so, and also to achieve a, a super lightweight. That's uh, also key for that kind of boots. And I noticed these screws here. Is it too? Uh, Change the sole. Yeah, if the, the, um, the boots are the soles are getting used. You can just replace it. So it's uh, just uh, we move a few screws. It's kind of easy, so easy way to do it. And you use uh, Vibrax or no? It's no, your it's own. A skywalk. It's a skywalk. Yeah, it's a, like uh, used by, by other ski brands also on the market. So to a good grip and um, and good durability also. What would you say is the key feature that this boot is a big success? I think this is really like the, this uh, hybrid cabrio construction that makes it super easy to step in, step out to get a pure uh, instant comfort and the performance that uh, also delivers this construction. What, what are your, your main competitors if you look at all brands? Uh, for sure, um, like the Maestro LRS is a, uh, an iconic product in this category. You have the Salomon S Lab or M10 Lab uh, that's also super successful or the Technica Zero G that are like really like uh, it's an overlap construction but uh, the super light so that are the boots that are, we are competing with. Comparing with the Zero G, they went with four buckles, you have a two and a half, what's this uh, like? 
they have a two, two. Yeah, so, so the ZWG has a, a super strong downhill performance, but it's an overlap construction, so there are, there are some weaknesses when you want to walk with that boots. So we are more a bit more touring than they are, you know, they are more like a pure uh, in the alpine direction. So it's more an evolution of the touring uh, benefits of a ski boots with a lot of performance, and they are coming more for the alpine setup to. Uh, but I'm not here to speak too much about the ZWG, <laughs> but that's the way we see it. Yeah. All right, all right, that's good. Uh, what's more, what's the weight? So it's a one kilogram, four hundred forty grams. In twenty-six half. Exactly.